Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something a little different. Well, it's a lot different from what we're used to. I am doing a pinch me unboxing. Yay! Imagine like fireworks and whatever because I've seen these going around YouTube for a while now and I'm so excited to finally be able to throw my head in the ring and you know talk about some of the amazing products that were sent to me. So I am so grateful because Pinch Me reached out to me and sent me this blogger box that I am loving. So if you want to see what's inside then keep watching. I think you can already tell from the title the things that I'm most excited to be reviewing from this box. So let's get into it this is how it came this um these stickers were on some products but i just stuck them there so that i wouldn't lose them but yes you i mean okay here's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to sign up on their website right and then they have a sample tuesday like every two to four weeks uh, where you go on the website and you actually choose the products that you want to receive for free for testing so they have things that are like for people with animals for people with children i have neither of those so i made a very specific request to receive more beauty related products so so that's what's in here um these are just like informational brochures but we will jump straight into the box clearly i've moved things around and <laughs> already opened the snacks i have been obsessing over what will be in my box so i have watched a ton of pinch me unboxing videos and everyone got a snack so i was dying to see which one i got and like how good would it be you know so let me just like i just wanted to show you the number of products that are in there and some of them are hidden under these so it's freaking amazing but um let's start with the chewy bites these are the quaker new chocolate chip chewy bites <laughs> i'm not trying to find a collective name for it but i guess the main name is chewy bites and they're actually pretty good like it's not bad i <laughs> clearly i've already opened them up because i saw chocolate and it was late at night and i was just like this needs to happen you know but this is what it looks like it's sort of like a granola bar but it's softer and it does have chocolate flakes in it which is absolutely fantastic i kind of want to eat one now but being disciplined and putting this away but that actually is pretty yummy so if you can pick it up definitely pick it up um i'm just gonna run through like the other things in the box before i get to the things that i'm most excited about in the box so you can have a whole section for skincare because this box has like sorted me out for the next few months and i'm so so grateful so happy this is the reason i'm so excited to be telling you to like sign up and get these things for free it's not just free stuff that they send to bloggers that you're gonna have to pay for they pay for shipping they pay for the products you pay for nothing it just shows up on your door which is absolutely amazing but next thing in this th in this box is a lint roller i have been dying for this for god knows how long i have no idea where people get these like i've looked in the supermarkets and i just cannot find them but this is my very own personal lint roller and i am so excited to find the own one this is the gillette antiperspirant deodorant i know this is supposed to be for men but it actually has a pretty neutral smell like it does smell slightly manny but manny <laughs> slightly manny lord it does smell slightly manly but it's not something overpowering so uh, since i have no man in my life i can definitely be using this i am i'm excited to test it out you know um a lot of these products i haven't tested before this is just an unboxing of those products but i have tested out the skincare which is what we're getting to which is why i can tell you it's freaking amazing there are timestamps in the description box by the way so if you have something specific you're looking for it will be in the description box bug protector all natural bug repellent this is gonna come in really handy because i do tend to have quite a bit of spiders in my house so <laughs> the days that i don't feel like running from them i can definitely put this to good use harold's daughter shampoo and conditioner now these are basically sample packs which is pretty good i mean i'm not mad i think i'd be more upset if they switched out a full bottle of this for a sample size of one of these other skincare things so i'm really not mad at these but i do tend to not do my hair at home so i don't know how much use i'm going to get out of them but if i do ever use them and like make like a hair video i'll definitely include these but carol's daughter is really good quality so i'm impressed that this is in there you know next is a vagisil daily intimate wash i haven't used this i don't know how it smells it actually smells pretty pleasant so i guess i'm supposed to wash my lady parts i'm not gonna discuss that because this is a very family friendly <laughs> channel but yeah i mean good to have you know next is one of those things that's like on my what do you call it resolutions list my new year's resolution is to drink more smoothies work out more and i've actually been meaning to pick up like some protein powder and when i saw that it might come in my box i was so excited so i'm really glad i got this this is grass-fed whey 
in Belgian chocolate. That is the um, flavor. And I'm so excited because, yeah, anything with chocolate will definitely get me to make more smoothies in my life. I'm, I have been making wheatgrass smoothies, but, like, I'm not as consistent in, like, this whole healthy living thing as I need to be as I stare at my exercise bike. <laughs> That's not been used in a while. So I will attempt to put this to use. And everything that I do end up using, I will leave in the description box, like, how well it did for me and all of that so that we can have a bit more of an update. But, yeah, this is one of the things in the pot. Now that we're done with all the extras, let's get to the whole point of this video because the reason that I am so excited to be coming to you with this is the Bior. I really hope I'm saying that right, but I got four full-size Bior products. Now, I had never heard of them before opening this box, but when I did like check out some YouTube videos and YouTube reviews yesterday, um, as soon as I received it and I like, opened it, I was blown away because everyone has such nice things to say about it that I really couldn't even decide which product to test because the thing that I've noticed is that they all do the exact same thing. So I didn't want to use like all four of them in one night and have my skin just completely stripped, you know? So I did pick out two to test so that I could at least have some experience in telling you about them but I was completely blown away they sent me the Bior um, free your pores baking soda which is great for combination skin I have dry skin but that will not stop me from using this because my pores need to be freed as well as you can see on my forehead I do get like occasional breakouts and I don't understand what's happening I feel like they're just stress pimples or something so it's not like acne acne but it is like stress pimpling and um, I'm really hoping these can help clear it they all smell so damn good as I said this is the baking soda pore cleanser um actually it's called the baking soda acne scrub so this is pretty good this isn't the one that i tried yesterday but it is a sialic acid acne treatment i'm trying so hard to get through that sentence but yeah i think you get the idea it is a baking soda acne scrub so it is really good for getting rid of acne it smells really good all of them smell exactly the same whether it's a baking soda line or the charcoal line but um yeah i did just want to show you the texture and consistency because what i was planning to do was to like film myself using them like each of them but then i realized that they do the exact same thing so there's really no point in that but i did just want to show you how it swatches so for the baking soda acne scrub, this is the color that it comes in. It does have like um orange granules. So this is the consistency that you get on your skin. You're supposed to just basically wash your face with this and then moisturize and be done. So that's a pretty simple system. The Bior charcoal acne scrub, which is different from the baking soda acne scrub. Can you hear the different ingredients? I am so completely obsessed because this also has salicylic acid and it's a completely different color. So do you see why I'm saying that they all basically do the exact same thing? Because um, this also has, actually it does actually have those orangey granules. I never noticed yesterday, but this is the one that I used yesterday and it left my skin feeling so fresh and so clean and so good. Like I genuinely felt like my pores were cleansed and that is what they are supposed to do. Where every single thing that I'm going to talk about from Bior is supposed to cleanse your pores. And I definitely felt that when I used this yesterday. It was so easy to use, so easy to get on, so easy to get off. It didn't leave me feeling oily. It didn't leave me feeling dry, which is amazing because I already have dry skin. So I was kind of concerned about that because it also says that it is for... Oh, this actually says it's great for oily skin, not even combination skin. So you'd think that someone with dry skin like me can't use it, but I am completely obsessed with this charcoal. I feel like it smells good. It actually works because I did feel a difference when I used it on my face. I was expecting to just feel like I'd wash my face with soap or something, but this is actually motivating me to like cleanse my face on the daily. So what I did use yesterday was this um, charcoal cleanser in combination with the liquid baking soda um, pore cleanser. And I absolutely loved this combination yes I could have used this all on its own but I was still on the kick of oh maybe I can use all of them together so that I can have some like real things to tell you about the products once I got through this my face felt so good that even using this was just like to try it out to see if it's maybe different from the one in the tube I don't actually see a difference. There's definitely a difference in the consistency of this one. This is the baking soda acne scrub and this is the baking soda 
pore cleanser so there is a slight difference like this is a lot more thick and um like creamier in texture this is a lot more liquidy so the texture is different they are both baking soda based but this is an acne scrub and this is a pore cleanser so it's supposed to deep clean your pores and i guess that's why i kind of felt comfortable going in with it after using the charcoal acne scrub because i wanted to scrub away the acne and clean my pores so that i could moisturize and i like, feel really good it did leave my skin feeling so soft and so good like i was so incredibly impressed i'm um, just gonna pump this down for you I actually thought um actually thought this had a travel friendly pump because it was locked uh when it first came but every time i try to push it down product just keeps coming up you know so yeah as you can see it's an almost clear consistency and with this one you need a lot less than you do with the other ones just to get it all over your face as you can see this tiny little drop is pretty thick so it would be easy to get all over my face like without having to do you see how much coverage I get in compared in comparison to the other products that I've shown you? It is easier to get um, full coverage on your face with this using a lot less product. So I do expect this to last me a really long time. And I am extremely impressed. They all smell the exact same way. So they all smell amazing. The baking soda cleansing scrub. So this is an actual powder. I don't know if you'll be able to see that with my lights. But this is an actual powder. And yeah i have not tried this at all i've barely opened it um you're supposed to press this button and it comes up and then i guess you pour some out on your hand so let me do that for the first time and this is baking soda i don't know if this is like straight up baking soda or if it has a mixture of other things but it does feel a lot coarser than baking soda so i will give it that but yeah i enjoy this um it does in the instructions, it does say to mix this with water. I'm just using it on a dry hand because I'm not trying to scrub my hand right now. I am very grateful to Pinch Me for sending me all of these goodies. I hope they're in frame. But um, yeah, definitely sign up. You will get at least three maybe four or five um sample products and by sample i don't mean sample size because you've seen that i have gotten a mixture of like sample size products like this is definitely not the full size one but also full size products but if you do visit their website you will be able to see a countdown to their next sample tuesday and browse previous um month samples so you can see the type of samples that are available to you and you can decide if it's something worth getting for yourself or not because when they did reach out to me that is what i did on their website and i tried to see if they have products that I'd be interested in talking about but I think this BR is like a more recent addition to the team because I did not see this on the website I saw some really interesting Neutrogena stuff and whatever but I guess those are from previous sample sessions so in this blogger box they have sent me a couple from before and a couple from the future just so we can get an overall idea of what they're about but these are definitely the current samples that are available so all of these are probably going to be available in the next sample Tuesday. Don't hold me to it. You could be watching this in like the year 2050 and like that's not my fault. But um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed my unboxing and review because Bior, hands down, amazing. When I run out, I'm definitely replacing those. This is definitely something worth getting. And Bior, if you're here just for the Bior review, Bior is definitely something worth getting. So I'm just going to end my review here before I ramble on too much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below. And I'll see you in my next video.